In this video, we will look at how to create a project template. So here we're going to start in our navigator and I'm going to come along to the fourth tab called templates. And I'm going to go ahead right now and click the new project template. And what this opens is our create model, which allows us to add any of the settings we would like to our template. That's the same as any project when you create a project in, in active projects. And it also allows us to, to set some specifics which carry forward when a template is applied to our work. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a name. Okay. And from here, we can make some initial changes. So we can change the color. Um, I'm going to change this one to a bright blue. And the next thing we want to add is add a date. And what's important about adding a date to a template is that when you set any dependencies uh, and any other date um, characteristics within your template, they will anchor to this date that you set with the template. So this is very important for every action card ongoing as you apply the template. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to give it the 31st of December. From here, we can move down and select our labels. And these will apply across all campaigns when you apply your templates. So let's add a few here. And we can also give our template a description. Perfect. Now, at this point, we can add project level attachments if there's something you need people to reference and again, create phases. Now, phases are particularly helpful for campaigns. So I'm just going to add some to help us. And we can add an additional phase here. And you'll notice with the phases, you can drag and drop and reorder should you need to edit the, the order you've typed them in. So from here, I'm going to continue down and go to my next page. And this is the page that allows me to share my template with work colleagues. So I'm going to add some members to this just now. And the view I would like to open my template in is in the Gantt view. So I'm going to set that up so every time it opens, it will open in Gantt. Let's open up and you see there's no actions currently. So once we have the template, we have our structure and I want to populate this with the actions. So I'm going to go and use my due date to build backwards and think about some of the actions I need. Now in Gantt view, I'm going to group by phases and then this will allow me to very quickly add my actions and when building templates you can bounce between each of the different layouts to add different information to your action cards exactly the same way that you would create a project so let's add some actions under briefing And we're going to put another one here under planning and this is going to be develop activation plan within our go live we're going to launch and then finally in our post go live let's let's pop a weekly report in here okay so that is our action card set up so now i have these i can go ahead and plot them on the timeline and Gantt is particularly helpful here because I can just drag and drop them. So let's scroll to today's date. I'm going to drop the brief here. I'm going to drag, drop in the actionable brief and give it a date range. We're going to develop the action plan. We're going to launch. And also let's put a date in for the weekly report. Okay. So once I've got my dates in, I want to set the launch date. So here we have the launch date on the 25th. 
And something I want to do here is create this as a milestone. So let's go ahead and open up the action card. Click to the more menu, mark as a milestone and close it down. And there you'll see that the, the small diamond will appear. One final thing I want to make sure I do in this template is the weekly report is going to be recurring. So let's quickly set that up. And I'm going to set it to be weekly on a Tuesday. And I will end it after five occurrences, just so we can see it. And let's click Save. And there you'll see the recurring action card throughout the project template. Something else I can do here within my template is add labels to these action cards, and I can also add assignees. So let's do that in different views. Let's come to label view. And let's very quickly move some of these and apply labels to them. Okay, great. And then I'm going to jump to my team view to very quickly assign some of these out to my team members. Let's come back to Gantt view, and now we'll see that the, the team members have been allocated to the tasks. Now, one final thing we can do is let's come back to our project navigator and to our templates page, and you will see that our end-to-end -end campaign has been created and ready to apply to our work. And that is how we create a project template in Hive.